Hey guys, it's Paul. Welcome back. Let me tell you what I've been working on. Stay right there. Welcome to When Nerdy is Cool. Hey guys, welcome back. So let's talk about what I've been working on. First up is the BB-8 project. So the spheres, there's 24 of those little pieces that make up the entire ball. And then there's six rib pieces that go into the various segments as well too. Those have all been printed. So now the next step is to remove the support material on all those sphere pieces. And that's going to take a little bit of time to get all that support material off of there. And then the sanding and, you know, and the cleanup on the edges as well too. So that's, that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm kind of looking forward to see how that's going to look, but uh, it took a long time to get those 24 pieces plus the three extras. And uh, we will see, uh, and I will update you as to how that goes. So one of the next steps in this BB-8 project is going to be the bigger pieces. So as you saw, we have the sphere pieces and there were 24 of those and we've got those all knocked down and the ribs are printed out and now it's assembly. Now the next step is going to be these bigger pieces, which are like the triangles, uh, the circles that make up the body of BB-8 and of course the dome and, uh, and items like that. Now we can print them as they are using the existing printers. However, we have to print them in segments just because the small printers can't fit the large pieces. So if you have access to a bigger printer, you're able to print these bigger pieces and that makes the assembly a whole lot easier because you're just not dealing with all these pieces you're trying to make into one. And the structural integrity, in my opinion, is gonna be a little bit better. So, I've been looking around at large scale printers that can print these things in, in one shot. And the two favorites that I found were the Raise 3D N2 Plus, and that retails for about $32.99. And the G Create G Max, uh, it's a, a 1.5, I don't remember the, the, the full name of the printer, but that also sells for about $3,000. Now, a couple of the BB-8 builders had mentioned they had found a printer that can print the same large sizes as these guys, but a lot cheaper. Now the catch is it's a kit. It's made by Fogel Technologies and it's called the FT5 and it is it does an X and Y of 12 inches by 12 inches and 16 inches tall and for $499 you put it together and, and off you go. Now what's even more enticing about this is I was able to take advantage of a discount so I was able to get this printer for $449. Now you, you heard me right. You, you did hear me say I got this printer. Even though I'm not crazy about assembling a 3D printer, I did it with my Ultimaker original. It wasn't a terrible experience, but quite frankly, there's a lot to be said about taking something out of the box, plugging it in and off you go. Uh, whereas if you assemble the printer and you run into difficulties with prints, the first thing you start thinking is you must have done something wrong during the assembly. So, but let, let's look at the numbers though. We're looking at a $449 printer that potentially could do the same thing as a $3,000 or a $3,299 printer. So, you know, for that kind of money, you just got to try it. Now, the Facebook support group for the Fogotech uh, printers, these guys are, are extremely active. They're very upbeat. Uh, there's a lot of builds going on and a lot of these guys have superb quality builds and they've had no troubles and then there's some folks that have needed a little help along the way but no nothing about what i've read really scares me except the wiring part <laughs> but anyway that printer is on the way it arrives tomorrow and what i'll do is uh, when it arrives we'll start taking video of what it looks like once you unbox it and then of course as i assemble it well we'll document that too and uh, Another thing I'm working on, guys, is I'm going to do a review on the Ultimaker 2 Plus printer I have. I've had it now for about four or five months. And I'll give you a rundown of what I, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and we could probably stand a little bit of improvement. So I have a lot of comments to share about it, and I'm looking forward to your feedback on the review when I have it all completed. So that's coming up soon. So hang in there, and just remember, this is where nerdy is cool.